Well, hi, everybody. Welcome back. I do appreciate each and every one of you who does watch my channel. Thank you very much. Today, we are going to unbox and attach to the EOS R10 from Canon, the Alter 9H tempered glass camera LCD screen protector. That's a lot of words. But essentially, this is going to protect the screen for the EOS R10. It's supposed to be able to protect it, but still be able to use the touch screen very easily. We're going to test that out after we put it on. And how do you put it on? Let me show you. First of all, you have to get it out of the box. Ah, there you go. Now it does have wipes to be able to clean off the screen and we'll show you how to do that. Now the bundle that I got also has these little bubbles that go on the hot shoe or cold shoe depending on what type of camera you have on the EOS R10. Of course it is a hot shoe. So this just kind of slides on where the cover is you know, for the hot shoe and it kind of gives a little extra bubble. So that's a little extra that I thought was kind of cool. Let's put that down there. Now it does give you three chances <laughs> to put this thing on. It has sticker guides if you need those. And at the bottom, you have one, two, three different protectors. Awesome. And it does have the installation guide. So in the installation guide, obviously it's in English. Read to make sure you get the English instructions or Spanish or Italian, whatever uh, country you are from. And it's really just a five step process. We're gonna show you how to do that now. Okay, let's give this thing a shot and see how bad I screw this up. All right, so Obviously, if you already have a screen protector on there, like a cheaper plastic one or something, make sure that is taken off. In my case, because we just got this thing not too long ago, there is no screen protector on it. What you do is you take the wet wipe, wipe number one, and, oh, by the way, do wash your hands first. That way you're not accidentally transferring dirt from your hands onto the clean surfaces. They do have this itty bitty little wet wipe, which is just barely moist, <laughs> but it should do the job. Yep, it's doing pretty good. Now I did have some fingerprints on there and it's probably a little bit of dust and dirt that was on there. So we're going to like look on the side, look straight forward, just to make sure that we don't have any dirt whatsoever on the screen. No fingerprints, nothing. That looks pretty good. All right, then we go to the dry cloth number two, and that just kind of gets off the extra oils and any wetness that happens to be on there that the first one didn't get. And that looks pretty good. If it's dusty or anything, you can actually use this dust absorber. And the way you do that, you just kind of peel that off. And if there's any dust on there, you just kind of peel that up. And I was a little concerned they would have residue on it. And it doesn't really seem to. That looks good. Take this out. And this is where you have to make sure your fingers are super duper clean. Uh, so wash them before you start doing this. I know I said this before, but that's a very, very important part. Peel off this plastic piece right here. And then make sure not to touch the adhesive side, of course. 
make sure everything is super lined up. Top and bottom, poke in the center, and it will automatically seal. There we go. Now we got it. And then supposedly any bubbles that are in there will actually disappear in a day or two. Make sure we're lined up well. Okay. It looked like it sealed very, very well. Now for the big test. Let's turn this on. Take the lens cap off so we can see an image. Go ahead and press, see if we can, oh, you do have to press slightly harder than you did without it on, but I think, yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, everything seems to work in every part of the screen. All right, I give that a big thumbs up. The Alter Temper Glass. I'm satisfied with it. And if you get a camera of some sort, I highly suggest you get that screen protector. And as always, have a great day.